It is a big day, though, for thousands of LAUSD students. They're getting ready to head back to class this morning. And we've got you covered. We got live team coverage this morning. Tina Patel is standing by, but we begin with Kara Finstrom, who is live in Gardena, where the buses are rolling out for their first pickups of the new year. Kara, good morning to you. Good morning, DeMarco. They are. They're rolling out a huge undertaking for the school district, getting all of those buses, picking up kids and getting them to classes on time this morning. And joining us live is the interim superintendent, Megan Riley. Thanks so much for uh, taking a moment for us this morning. Let's just start off with these buses that are heading out. Give us a feel for the scope of the effort here. Isn't it amazing? There are about 1,500 bus routes that are rolling out right now, this moment, to 850 schools. So it's an amazing undertaking, and it's so exciting to be back at school again. We talk, talked with one of the bus drivers a little earlier. He was very excited. He said to get back on his bus. He's got one of the electric ones, so uh, that's a little extra excitement <laughs> <super> there. Excited. <laughs> talk to us about the safety precautions. Obviously, district wide, there are a lot of precautions in place, but specifically on the buses. Yeah, it doesn't just, we have so many safety precautions in the schools, but it also doesn't just start at the schools. It's in the buses as well. So you see everyone's wearing masks. They actually go through extra uh, sanitizing in between every route that they do. The bus driver will go through and wipe down everything. So, I mean, there's nothing. It starts from the moment that, you know, the parent brings their child to the bus stop and they, they, they board the bus. LAUSD has one of the most aggressive policies for going back to school in the country, actually. Talk to us about what's being done and the compliance that you've seen so far as far as testing uh, and encouraging vaccinations. Well, and I wouldn't even call it aggressive. I think that with, when you have a safety protocol, it's the layers of additional safety. Every measure is meant to put an additional layer and protection of safety. So, you know, we start with the masks. The masks are really one of the best things and vaccinations. So we've recently announced that vaccinations will be mandated for all of our employees. You know, the other area that we probably do um, above and beyond besides the signage and all of the cleaning that's going on in the schoolhouse, the MERV filters that are in our filtration system that are the equivalent of an N95 mask, I think is, a, is truly the testing protocol. And we're doing tests on a magnitude of probably once school starts today, 100,000 tests per day that people will be tested weekly, both students and staff, vaccinated and unvaccinated. And that allows us to really keep ahead of this virus. Yeah, a huge undertaking. Any feel how it went as far as leading up to school, everyone getting that test before they start their first day? Sure. We saw like uh, upwards of, I think, 60,000 tests per day. We gave a two-week window for people to get their baseline tests. So we have very high numbers looking at, um, you know, the people that are coming back. I think also we offered an online program or an independent study program, and we only had, I would say, even extending the deadline for opening about less than 3% uh, of, our, of our families opting for a, a, a non-in-person program. So these buses are going to be full. Thank you so much. We'll let you get going. She's going to be uh, greeting all of the bus drivers uh, as they get on their buses. This is just one of the bus yards across the district, but more than 300 buses heading out from here alone this morning.